Do you know what God bless you means? When someone tells you that, they're not just wishing you the best. But it is also like this, helping to attract the Creator's favors into your life. Those words are not just heard by you, but by the angels of the Lord, who hear that request, God bless this person, and the angels then run to make that small prayer reach quickly to heaven and reach the heart gods. Luke says in Luke 1:48 that blessed is he who blesses. And it is then that the wonderful process of the law of return begins. Because when you bless someone, God himself takes care of blessing you too. And at that moment, another divine equal process begins, that of multiplication. Because when you are blessed, those people around you, those who are around you, benefit from this blessing too. Then you realize how true what is written in Proverbs 18 verses 20 and 21 is. When you say that the language has the power over life and death. With your words, you can lift up or take down, motivate or discourage, build up or destroy, with what you say you can curse or bless someone. Are you aware of this? Start watching what you say. No longer letting the enemy use your words, and always and constantly being the mouth of God. Using what comes out of it to edify your children, your wife, your husband, your family and your friends. Whether we realize it or not, our words affect the future of the people we love, for good or bad. When you say something to your child, like, Son, I love you. You are very special to me. I admire you. I believe in you. Those are not just pretty words, no. You are pouring blessing on his life. When you tell your wife, I admire you, my goodness. And I thank you for everything you do, for me, for our children, you are incredible, you are a gift from the Lord to me. These are not just romantic words, you are also letting your wife know how much you appreciate her. And at the same time, declaring God's favor on her life. And as in the spiritual world, the law of return is one of the most powerful, all of this will come back to you. In the form of safer and confident children, and a more caring and loving wife. Even if you have not been awareness yet, you are an influencer of people's futures, in your home, around them, in your family. With this authority comes the responsibility of making these people feel valued, recognized, appreciated. You have the responsibility to bless these people with your words, and since words have this power, since God promises that when two come together in His name, His Spirit will be present, at that moment I believe His Spirit is among us. And can I take the take advantage of ordering? God, touch the heart of this person who is watching us now. Fill, from now on, this person with cheerfulness, willingness and courage. Open the paths she needs, bring the answers she needs. Put in her path the opportunities that she has been praying for so much. God, promote healing, freedom in her life and accelerate all the dreams that she carries in her heart. In Lord Jesus' name. God bless you.